Hey everybody, I am John Barker and welcome back to another episode of Here to Record Show and Tell. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the AV Matrix HDMI to 3 gig SDI converter. This is the mini converter SC1221. And we're going to take a look at it, why you might need one of these things and uh, compare it to the Blackmagic micro converters. Um, just in the interest of full disclosure, uh, AV Matrix has sent this to the channel to take a look at and um, will let us hang on to it after this video is done. However, they're not paying for this video content and they are not uh, watching this video before you get to see it. So um, all the opinions are my own. First up then, why might you need some, something like this? Well, these converters, these little mini micro converters, uh, HDMI to SDI, will let you extend the, um, the range of your camera. Let's say you're running HDMI cameras and you want to get further away from the camera put it in the back of an auditorium or something like that. Often HDMI cables um, just won't really reach that far. I, I like to run them no more than a couple of meters. But in this case, you can convert from HDMI to SDI and run SDI cables much longer. Uh, I run usually 40 meter cables, but you can go much longer than that. I think 100 meters is pretty, uh, is pretty good before you start to need little power banks and stuff along the way. But um, yeah, so that's why you need one of these things. Um, but let's take a look at this one in particular. Taking a closer look at the device, we can see um, it's pretty standard. We have a nice little uh, compact design, HDMI input here. We have a power LED right beside that. You'll see that in a second. And then it is powered by uh, micro USB. It supports up to 1080p 60. And then on the other side here, we have the two SDI outputs. Um, which is super nice about these boxes. They always give you two SDI outputs if you want to monitor near a camera as well. And then on the back, there's nothing really there. Um, on the sides, pretty standard. And you have two little mounting holes um, for a little bracket that I'll show you in just a second. Um, actually, let's just bring that in now. What you get in the box is a nice little manual here. Um, yeah, you can flick through that if you want to see uh, what it supports and what it does. You get a USB um, kind of like a phone charger, you just plug that in the wall, but you can also use uh, whatever you have lying around as well. In the box you also get a nice USB micro USB uh, cable to uh, power the device. And then this nice, which I really like, is a, a little mounting plate. You just screw that on the side here. And then, um, I'll just hold it there for a second. And then you can you know mount it to whatever you want to mount it to. Mount it to a wall, mount it to your flight case, whatever you want. Um, so that's what you get in the box. So let's just compare it to the uh, Blackmagic micro converter, HDMI to SDI. I mean, they're basically the same idea. Um, they're the same weight almost. This one's just a little bit heavier, but ever so slightly in terms of grams. Um, and then comparing them side by side, yeah, you can see there that uh, the Blackmagic is a little bit wider. Blackmagic is a little bit taller, but in terms of the, uh, the longest side, um, Blackmagic is, is a lot shorter that way. Um, so if you're looking for something that's a little more narrow and slim, then the AV Matrix is your way, and then Blackmagic overall feels like it takes up a slightly less of a footprint. But in terms of connections and uh, usability, it's basically the same style of device. You have that micro USB uh, charger, or sorry, yeah, power. You have HDMI in, you have dual SDI outs, they both support up to 1080p60. I just want to jump in here and make a quick note to say that I've been doing some testing and it seems that on the website it says it supports 3G level A and level B for the SDI. Um, but since making this video, I found out that that's not the, tr not the case. It actually just supports level A. So if you're running 1080i50 and uh, 1080i60, everything works fine with Blackmagic gear. But if you want to push into that 3 gig territory, then it will run level A and not level B, which will mean that it might not work with your ATEM switcher based on your setup. Just thought I'd put that in there and I'll let you know if I test more and things change. So really, if you want to take it down to which one to choose, um, even pricing is ever so slightly different. I've seen the Blackmagic one listed for £65 without VAT. And uh, this AV Matrix, I've seen it for around £63 without VAT, but maybe in a certain shop, those prices could vary a little. So, I mean, the difference is just, uh, 
is is tiny. Um, for me, some of the pluses on the AV Matrix, um, I like that if you check out this little power light, whenever I plug it in here, you'll see it's a nice solid green color. Um, if you can see that there. Whereas on the uh, Blackmagic one, it's a white LED. You can just see it there underneath my thumb. <laughs> tiny, tiny difference, I know. But uh, that solid green color is a lot easier to see on uh, both sides of the AV matrix than the white LED is on uh, on some of the sides. The LED seems to be pretty far placed into the um, Blackmagic one. So it's a little bit hard to see at a glance. Is that feed coming in? Mm, tiny, tiny difference, right? Um, in terms of other differences that I find, uh, whenever you lose signal on the Blackmagic one, it gives you a, a, a black, um, black image, just to say that you've lost, uh, you've lost signal. Whereas on the AV matrix, it gives you a green image to say that there's no signal present. For me, I'm going to, I'm going to side with the black magic one in that, in that uh, instance, because um, if you did drop a frame for whatever reason during a live show, I think it's better just to show a black frame than it is to flash a big green flame or frame. So mm, yeah, slight little difference there. Maybe that wins for the, um, the black magic micro converter. But overall, I mean, they're pretty much generally the same device. If you want to save maybe a little bit of money, um, a couple of pounds, then you might be able to pick up the AV matrix. Um, and then the other thing I love about it is this uh, little mounting bracket. For me, that makes perfect sense. You just shove it on there and then I'll mount it inside my, uh, my flight case or maybe um, I'll mount it, you know, next to a camera somewhere. That's a nice thing to have. You can uh, use that to zip tie it onto your tripod maybe. So that's a pretty cool little uh, addition. Um, they both come with uh, their power cables and they both work pretty much the same. So that's how it compares to the Blackmagic micro converter if you're thinking about picking up one of these two. Just to sum things up a little with some pros and cons like I like to do. Um, on the downsides of this device, uh, number one is naming. I mean, the AV Matrix Mini SC1221. Uh, it just doesn't mean anything to me. So. Um, and even the HDMI to SDI thing is just so small on there. It's hard to see at a glance what this is. If you had uh, the two versions, you know, the HDMI to SDI and the SDI to HDMI, um, I think I'll write on big marker across this what it is, HDMI to SDI. Just so you can see, you know, at a distance, that's definitely the one I want. Um, so, I mean, yeah, naming is just a small little thing, but that's a, a kind of a downside for me. And the other thing is, like I said before, that green frame, if you lose signal, um, if I was to drop a frame or if I was to accidentally kick out a cable or if something just happened to go off during a live show, then I think just a solid black frame is more than enough. Um, people would really notice a big green flame or frame <laughs> if it flashed in front of them, but a black one is just something that, that just happens. So I think that makes more sense to have that. On the plus side, I love this little uh, mounting plate that comes with it. That's pretty great. Um, I can already find uses for that. Uh, other pluses, like I said, that solid green lights on either side to say that it's on and there's a signal. Um, always good to see at a glance, sometimes from far away, because these things are often pretty far away. Everything's working, everything's on. Um, the, the, the trustfulness of that solid green light is, is great for me. Um, looking at my notes here, what else did I like? Yeah, the power over USB is excellent with all of these little mini devices and micro devices. Um, being able to power this stuff over USB, let's say you put this beside your laptop and, um, and you wanted to you know, run HDMI to SDI from your laptop, you can also power it from that laptop, which is really, really great. Um, use that cable that came with it, nice little detachable or normal USB uh, cable, and you can just plug that into your laptop, plug it in there, and it'll, uh, it'll work for you. So that's a look at the AV Matrix HDMI to 3 gig SDI converter mini sc1221 that is a mouthful and uh, thank you for watching check out another video if you're interested in this kind of stuff and of course you can check out the um the full look at the black magic micro converters that we did as well see you next time bye bye